folks, I'm Nathaniel Ruffle Jantz, and this is our first ever episode of Setup Crusade. Uh, Setup Crusade is a weekly show where we show off your guys' setups, and we go over what's included in your setup, what the parts may be, so people, if they're interested, can go buy that stuff themselves. We also give suggestions on how we think your setup could be improved. And let you guys at the end of the episode vote on which setup is the winner. Now, we take up to six setups per episode. However, because it's a brand new show, it's no surprise. Our very first episode only had two submissions, but we are very thankful for the submissions we did get. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Our first submission comes from LYP. As you can see here, there's a rather basic setup for LYP. With a TV, Wii U, Switch, and PlayStation 4 all just sitting on a small table in the corner. Now, this isn't bad in that of itself. However, the organization could be better, right? The fact that the gamepad covers up the bottom part of the TV isn't really that attractive. And I'm guessing this is just the angle of the shot, but it does look like the TV's a little crooked. I, I could be wrong there. Maybe he needs to fix the stand or... Uh, you know get a whole brand new stand maybe even put that TV on the wall with a wall mount now because I don't know what type of TV it is I can't make a suggestion for a wall mount but in general it's it's a pretty base setup pretty cluttered uh, if I had to guess there had to there, there should be a way to attach a shelf below the bottom to put your consoles there to free up space on that TV to maybe display um, some show pieces whether it is games that you want to have stacked over there or maybe you just want to put like a, one of those little Ikea plants or something. Uh, he also has a gaming PC with a recording setup. Uh, you, what you'll see here in the picture is an Asus monitor. I believe this is the Asus VS247HR. Uh, the keyboard that you'll notice there is the Razer Deathstalker Chroma. It's actually a keyboard I used to own myself until I replaced it recently with our more models from Corsair. Uh, the microphone is, the microphone I, I'm actually using to record with this right now, we have the exact same microphones, the Blue Yeti, and the webcam you see at the top is a Logitech C922, and the mouse is a Razer Mamba Tournament Edition. Uh, he also has a capture card somewhere in here, uh, the Elgato Game Capture HD. Again, I can vouch for the quality of that capture card because I use that myself for all the game footage you see here at Nintendo Prime. Uh, for audio, he does not have any speakers, he just has some ear ear, ear little earbuds. Uh, and he plans to get some headphones down the line. Overall, the setup here in the desk, again, it looks like he has some, some space issues, some limited space. I would suggest maybe finding a, a, a way to adjust things around, like your printer. If you were able to take your game consoles off your TV stand, that I'm assuming is next to your desk, and add a shelf on the bottom where you could put your game consoles there, that would free up that entire corner to put your printer so you have more space on your desk itself. Uh, I see it looks like you have some game controllers on there. Again, freeing up that space would allow you to put a controller stand, maybe hold your PlayStation 4 controllers or your Switch controllers or what have you. Um, I do really, really like the Toad Touch. Just that one simple little amiibo on the desk. Very classy. Moving on to the rest of his setup, he shows his cable management skills, which leave some to be desired. Uh, here you'll see his Elgato game card, PlayStation controllers, and what looks like a PlayStation 3, something I don't believe he mentioned, and a stack of games. And I think this is actually the shelf I was talking about that might be available underneath his TV, based on the fact that in the corner I see the Wii U gamepad. So, again, I feel like the cable management here could be a lot better. Now, it looks like there are two panels blocking the wall. There is, very, all those wires you see are very easy to hide behind that stuff. So then you would only see the single wire going down, the, the black going down, which I assume goes to a power strip. And the other wires are just kind of haphazardly laid in there. Now, I'm not one to talk about the best cable management in the world. If you saw my introduction video, you'll notice my cable management skills weren't exactly up to par. Uh, but I have a lot of reasons to have my cables readily available uh, based on a lot of things I need to hot swap out on a daily basis. Uh, here, I don't think there's a lot of reason to have the cables that way. So there, there's just a... It could be done better. <laughs> Let's just put it 
that way. Uh, and I feel like if you reorganize things a little better, you could actually move a lot of those game consoles down to the shelf. Again, freeing up that extra space to put your printer over there. Again, freeing up some extra space on your desk, allowing you to have less clutter. Just a thought. Moving on. Our second submission comes from Miko. Uh, so this setup, it, he shows off the entire room. So first you see just a, a pan shot of the room here. It looks like he has a sort of bean chair, bear, uh, bag, bed, chair, whatever you want to call it, along with a corner couch leather system with his PC stuff in the corner. If you turn things around, you can see his TV. And that is, I believe, an LG 19MN43 HDTV. So 43-inch LG HDTV. Uh, in addition, if you look at his computer setup over here, he has a 22-inch LED LG monitor. Uh, he apparently doesn't know the name of it, and I couldn't find the brand. Uh, he says he has a generic USB GameCube controller there, so no, that's not hooked up to a GameCube. That's a PC controller. Um, he's got the TechNet extended mouse mat, an AT2020 Plus microphone, uh, an old Dell keyboard from 2002, you know, one of those free ones they pack in with the PCs, and a Steel Series Rival 300 mouse. Now, he did not provide much of a picture of his actual gaming PC, but it does have an i5-4460, an MSI R9-392 gig, 8 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance RAM, an Asus H97ME motherboard, Fractal Design Core 1500 Micro ATX Mini Tower Case, a Corsair CX 500 watt power supply, and a WD Blue 1 terabyte hard drive. Again, all the links to his various uh, stuff in his setup will be down in the description below, along with LYC setup too. Now, if you go back to look at his actual setup for his games, the only thing I do not like about uh, you know how I would improve this again is cable management and cable management is one of the hardest things to do Especially when you are rocking the kind of setup he has where you have giant wide open spaces with no backing there So one thing I would suggest and this is just from my own personal preference is You can get some twist ties or you can get some velcro straps and take like the switch wires coming off of the switch You could actually run those straight down against that that wall that divider before right before the TV and then over and up behind the TV and you would end up not seeing those wires cross over you also have a bunch of wires just haphazardly laying on the ground try to assume are for your Wii U and you know DVD player or cable box etc uh, again there's not a whole lot to do to hide those at this point uh, just because you have that bit giant power strip that's actually bigger than any space you have to hide it potentially uh, but I do notice that behind your TV there appears to be a, a single long you know, backing, a little back piece, I assume it's just for support. You should be able to use some 3M tape and connect your power strip to that back there, which would then lift all your cables off of the ground and allow you to hide them in that spot. Just some food for thought. You don't have to change your setup at all, but it is a way that I would improve your gaming setup here. And obviously, I love the fact that you have Mario Kart 8 Deluxe up. Fantastic game. Love the way your Amiibo are displayed. Uh, I could say some OCD and say your inkling amiibo, I believe, is a little bit off in terms of the spacing, but okay, I guess I just said that. <laughs> uh, just moving back to your PC gaming setup, I love the dual monitor setup. It's fantastic. I use dual monitors myself. Uh, I, you know, I'm not always a big fan of different sized dual monitors, but I understand people that you know, don't have matching monitors. It's okay. I used to use mismatch monitors all of the time. And there's reasons sometimes to have different size monitors as well. Uh, I do notice that the cable management looks, again, a little messy. Uh, again, cable management is one of the hardest things to do well, especially when you're setting up things. So the desk you have is an IKEA Linman, and you're using the Signum rack to hold up your wires. And that's a fantastic rack to use. Uh, it, it's actually a rack I've been looking into adding to my own setup to help with cable management. And I do see that you're using some zip ties and you have things, it almost looks like you tried to cable manage here, but you didn't go all the way with it. So there's little things you can do to improve this cable management setup. As an example, those wires you have to the left by your back left leg, you could have had those, along, it looks like with your wireless router, could have ran along the, the, the bottom leg there going up if they needed to come up from the ground. 
and then you could have ran them across the back side of your desk and held it there with velcro tape or twist ties and some 3m tape and then have it come into the rack mount so the only thing you would really see are some wires packed into the rack mount with everything plugged in the wires coming from your pc again you could have cable managed them and had them come up the right leg over there and then over to the rack uh, and I know some of those wires are probably extra wires from like your, your monitors and stuff. Uh, again, just some suggestions that could improve the look of your setup. You might not care, uh, but this is Setup Crusade. So it is obviously all about uh, some of the aesthetics and how people create their video game setups. Either way, it is a very good setup. I'm extremely jealous of your couch and your TV since uh, I'm only rocking a little 32 inch cheap Vizio that I got from Walmart. So I, again, I want to thank Miko and LYT for submitting their setups to our first ever episode of Setup Crusade. And that's going to do it for our first episode of Setup Crusade. If you would like to vote on the winner of, of these two epic setups going against each other from LYT and Miko, you could do so right now. I'll also have a link down in the description below to an additional poll where we will add the totals together to determine the winner. And the winner will be entered into a grand finale, as we're calling it, of Setup Crusade, where we will pit the winners from each week against each other. You guys will be re-voting, and from that point on, the winner of that will get a $20 gift card to Amazon. If you would like to enter your setup in Setup Crusade for Episode 2 for next week, you can do so by emailing me at nathan at nintendoprime.net and sending me pictures of your setup and part listings for what is in your setup and where you got it from. That way we could share it with our, all of our fans out there where they can get this stuff for themselves if they see something they are interested in. All you have to do in the topic for the email is say Setup Crusade and the only requirement we have for your setups is that there is a Nintendo console of some kind present, whether it's a 3DS or a Wii U or a Switch or a GameCube or an NES or a Game Boy, whatever it might be. That's our, our, our only requirement. You could show off your PCs, you could show off your, your living rooms or whatever, however you have things all set up, whatever you think is going to help you win. Good luck. We'll see you next week on Setup Crusade.